Hi, so this is a showcase of Orbital Leap. I have quite a few builds of this game. Um, this should be the latest build. The game is mostly a 3D platformer, um, set in space, hence the name Orbital Leap. So the game starts off and a little tutorial on the side here. And quite simple. Run into the glowing bar to complete. The faster you complete, the more stars you get. Passing through those gates makes you do different types of flips. For example, in there was a front flip as you saw, and but other gates can do other flips. In this case, you have an option to either go to left or straight on. I'll just go straight on. The flips are meant to be disorientating, but also um, pose a challenge. Here you can wall jump off those blue walls. I tried to focus in on the material for the ground to be super simplistic but also reflective. This is a double front flip which is super disorientating, so you have to time it perfectly to land. And then in this case you can simply just like fall down and land on top of that. There you go, two stars. Lighting for the scene is done per, um, completely by these lamps, so there's no other light in the scene, which um, keeps it um, keeps the focus on the platform you're supposed to be landing on. And then this jump is quite difficult, but this platform is very, very narrow. I think just about made it. So here we have one of the newer levels that I've developed, and as you can see, there is a cannon. This cannon 3D model, once it began to range, it will light up green. As you can see, when you go out of range, it's red, now it's green. And it will start to shoot homing rockets that follow you. And obviously, when it hits you, it knocks you off. And so, when you hit this pad, it will destroy the closest rocket pad. And then you reach the goal. Quite simply. So that's about it for um, the showcase of Over to Leap. Um, the game has come a long way from the very first alpha, which is... <laughs> it's kind of funny, to be honest, to watch. But um, this game really did teach me a lot about mostly first-person character controllers, because I coded everything, like, without the, like, you can just fall off the edge of the world. But, like, um, I coded everything from scratch and... A lot of the animations and the flips and the cannon model and everything was done uh, manually so the game taught me a lot about how to make games this was done about two years ago so that's it thank you for watching see you in the next game <laughs>